2022 Lexus LC500 Review, thrilling performance and luxury wrapped up in a beautiful package. Uniqueness seems to be a rare trait in the new car market. Considering how homogeneous design has become, it's not too often you see something that truly looks different from everything else on the road, as well as within its class, that's currently on sale as new. Thankfully, that's not the case with modern sports cars and grand tours. Their slick, long, low-slung shape soldier on as the keepers of striking and unique automotive design, and will continue to look good for decades to come. Like the A90 2022 Toyota Supra 2.0 in 10 to 15 years, I believe we'll look back on that and think that it really was a breath of fresh air. Though, that's not the best example, nor is it the most unique. Neither is anything out of Europe at any price point. No, the most unique, striking, and refreshing fare on sale today is by Toyota's luxury sub-brand, the 2022 Lexus LC500 Coupe. Especially if it's a 2022 luxury car that's painted in such a gorgeous color as Nori Green Pearl, such as this example I had the privilege of wheeling around for a whole week. But the uniqueness doesn't end with its design, as it's also a solid luxury grand tourer, with handling and performance that you wouldn't expect from something of its ilk. The 2022 Lexus LC500 Coupe starts at $93,050. This example has $15,620 in options, including Lexus' latest bespoke build package, and after a $1,075 delivery fee comes out to $109,745, one of the greatest naturally aspirated V8s of all time. To the casual onlooker, it's not immediately apparent what lives under the hood of the LC500's massive Grand Tourer befitting hood. Plus, considering the amount of cash that it commands and the bespoke interior appointments that it offers, you would think there'd be some restraint and refinement engineered into the way it propels forward. Luckily, that couldn't be further from reality. Sending 471 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels is Lexus' beloved 8-cylinder masterpiece, the 5.0-liter 2-er GSE. It's been in the brand's lineup in one LC trim or another since the beginning, and has made quite an impression bolted up underneath the track weapon in the RCF, and also in the S500 we recently reviewed. It's also in the GSF and as if it's refined in the sense that it quickly and smoothly revs up to its 7200 RPM redline. Instead, it's a ravenous power plant capable of shoving the 4340 pound coupe to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds, all while singing one of the greatest bass-filled V8 symphonies, ever. You wouldn't expect the opulent LC500 to produce such a tone. But it does, and is it brilliant. Once the tack needle passes 4000 RPM, the revs and exhaust gain exponentially more vibrant, and if you're lucky enough to pass through a tunnel along the way, it's a good idea to drop the windows and listen to all 32 valves inside the 2 er GSE go to work. Those same valves also actuate as if they're directly attached via linkage to your right foot, with no electronics or throttle body in between. The 2 er GSE's response is some of the best I've ever experienced behind the wheel of a high-end sports car, Grand Tourer. Every millimeter of pedal movement instantaneously reflects a congruous amount of change in RPM, which makes inputs in the most fun scenarios, such as on a twisty mountain road, an utter riot. One athletic brute. The 2022 Lexus LC500's overall dimensions and curb weight don't exactly allude to it being a solid twisty road contender. Neither do the 245, 45 20 front and 275, 40 20 Bridgestone rear touring tires, which are great for highway comfort, but not exactly meant to hold the portly brute tightly against the tarmac when the G-meter begins to swing out wide. Nevertheless, the LC is quite impressive when the road goes anywhere but straight. While it doesn't seem like its adaptive dampers ride much differently between its normal, sport, and sport various modes, body roll stays reined in quite well across all three, and even in especially twistier bits, such as those found above Malibu, California. As a nice plus, the LC's excellent ride irons out rougher stretches of tarmac incredibly well. If it weren't for the empirically inconvenient truth of wheeling a big car on a narrow road, you would swear its tendencies were more like something nearly 600 pounds less. Maybe it's the naturally produced horsepower, maybe it's the sporty, driver-centric cockpit, but while you're always cognizant of the big Japanese tourer's size and weight, it's never a major inconvenience. If anything, it's really just tire-limited. 
Had Lexus opted for a stickier compound and 275 wide tires at all four corners, assuming they'd fit, this thing would have shocking capability in the most unexpected places. Dot. It'd sure make use of its brilliantly engineered chassis. Beneath all four of the LC's wheel arches live all aluminum, fully independent multi-link suspension, with electronic adaptive dampers thrown in for good measure. Again, the latter bits don't offer a whole lot of performance difference between its several modes, but it rides quite comfortably overall. Nori Green Pearl 2022 Lexus LC 500 Coupe Peter Nelson Another aspect of the LC that's a bit surprising is its brakes. They're definitely engineered for graceful touring despite being dubbed as performance by Lexus. The pedal is light, progressive, and in no way grabby. That's generally a good thing, though it doesn't bode well for enthusiastic driving confidence. In the cool temperatures I wheeled the 500 through, they did a pretty good job maintaining strength, but started to become overwhelmed while reigning in all 4,340 pounds, and one heavier set driver, in downhill successions of tight corners. While they measure in at an impressive 15.7 inches up front with 6 piston calipers, and 14.1 inches out back with 4 piston calipers, they can only do so much coming back down from some pupil dilating figures on the dashboard. Lexus generally doesn't bring a lot to the table in terms of steering feel and weight, and the LC doesn't stray far from this. Though, its ratio is great, and is definitely where you can tell luxury and weight took priority over engagement and enthusiasm. I had to keep reminding myself that this is a grand tourer and not a focused sports car after all. Even though its sports car tendencies are quite good. Beautiful, bespoke, and opulent. And yet, the LC500 can also be a calm, relaxing cruiser. Wind noise is non-existent, and when set to comfort mode, it glides along in subdued, high-end luxury comfort. Inside, this 2022 bespoke build features Alcantara with Manhattan Henge leather accoutrements, Alcantara sport seats, a shiny little badge that signifies a certificate of authenticity, a nice albeit slightly cheesy touch, and a 13-speaker Mark Levinson reference surround system that takes it to an extra pleasant next level. All of the LC's touch points feel brilliant, but especially its thick-rimmed and grippy steering wheel. The overall interior is nearly orange in color intensity, and makes it a delightful place to be. It's warm and relaxing at any hour of the day, and the materials it's painted on are quite comfortable to boot. Lexus infotainment is a breeze to configure, then, as a nice touch, its power tilt and telescopic steering wheel with memory is a very nice touch. This was all just enough to fit my 6 foot 3 stature inside, with the seat set to as low as possible and the steering wheel pulled in nice and close. Nori Green Pearl 2022 Lexus LC 500 Coupe Peter Nelson Another aspect of the LC that's a bit surprising is its brakes. They're definitely engineered for graceful touring despite being dubbed as performance by Lexus. The pedal is light, progressive, and in no way grabby. That's generally a good thing, though it doesn't bode well for enthusiastic driving confidence. In the cool temperatures I wheeled the 500 through, they did a pretty good job maintaining strength, but started to become overwhelmed while reigning in all 4,340 pounds, and one heavier set driver, in downhill successions of tight corners. While they measure in at an impressive 15.7 inches up front with 6 piston calipers, and 14.1 inches out back with 4 piston calipers, they can only do so much coming back down from some pupil dilating figures on the dashboard. Lexus generally doesn't bring a lot to the table in terms of steering feel and weight, and the LC doesn't stray far from this. Though, its ratio is great, and is definitely where you can tell luxury and weight took priority over engagement and enthusiasm. I had to keep reminding myself that this is a grand tourer and not a focused sports car after all. Even though its sports car tendencies are quite good. Beautiful, bespoke, and opulent. And yet, the LC500 can also be a calm, relaxing cruiser. Wind noise is non-existent, and when set to comfort mode, it glides along in subdued, high-end luxury comfort. Inside, this 2022 bespoke build features Alcantara with Manhattan Henge leather accoutrements, Alcantara sport seats, a shiny little badge that signifies a certificate of authenticity, a nice albeit slightly cheesy touch, and a 13-speaker Mark Levinson reference surround system that takes it to an extra pleasant next level. All of the LC's touch points feel brilliant, but especially its thick-rimmed and grippy steering wheel. 
The overall interior is nearly orange in color intensity, and makes it a delightful place to be. It's warm and relaxing at any hour of the day, and the materials it's painted on are quite comfortable to boot. Lexus infotainment is a breeze to configure. Then, as a nice touch, its power tilt and telescopic steering wheel with memory is a very nice touch. This was all just enough to fit my 6'3 stature inside, with the seat set to as low as possible and the steering wheel pulled in nice and close.